Hello and welcome, my name's Hannah and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 essential makeup items for the summertime, so sit back, relax and let's get into the video. Okay, so number one is a sunscreen and I know that sunscreen is not just for the summer, it's all year round and you should be wearing it all year round but especially in the summertime when the sun's out a little bit more and we're spending a little bit more time outside it is absolutely essential my three favorites at the moment are the la roche posay and thelios uv immune 50 plus invisible fluid sunscreen and i really like this because it is exactly what it says it's invisible it's unfragranced it's not greasy it doesn't leave a white cast and it just does what it says on the tin with very high protection. It's very liquidy and I would definitely recommend shaking it before applying, but it is very good. My second recommendation is the Simple Triple Protect Moisturizer with SPF 30. This is, again, not greasy, invisible under makeup, doesn't leave a white cast, but it also leaves behind a really lovely glow on the skin and is perfect for just adding that tiny bit more radiance in the summertime. And what I'm wearing today is the NYX Bear With Me Daily Moisturizing Primer with SPF 30. This is again another one that does <laughs> everything that I mentioned previously. It leaves a lovely glow behind on the skin and because it is a primer and a moisturizer and an SPF all in one, makeup goes on top of this really, really nicely. So would definitely recommend that as well. Number two is an SPF lip balm. I have two lip balms that I am absolutely loving at the moment. The first is the Lana Lips Tinted Lip Balm with SPF 30. This is fantastic. I wear this morning, evening, overnight. This I just wear all the time because it makes my lips so, so soft. I got a pack of three and I have three different shades. I have Rhubarb, Rose and Perfect Nude. All three are gorgeous and they're just perfect for putting on when you want a little bit of something extra that's going to give you protection, it's going to give you hydration, but also a little bit of colour. I love these so much. And then very briefly, I'll just mention the number seven anti-aging shimmering lip and eye cream with SPF 30. This is just a really nice basic lip balm with a little bit of sparkle in it and a nice bit of SPF for lip protection as well. Number three is a long wearing glowy skin tint. This is my favorite kind of base product anyway, so I have quite a lot of recommendations here, but in the summer, I really like a little bit more of my freckles to show through, a little bit more of my natural, you know, skin texture to come through. And so these are all things that I wear quite often. First, one I'm going to mention, and I'm not going to go on too much about this, is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum, because this is amazing. It feels lightweight on the skin, it adds a little tiny bit of glow, but really just looks like your skin, but better. This was my favourite foundation last year, and I still stand by that, so I'm not going to talk about that one too much. Then, other ones from the drugstore, we've got the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. This I have on my face right now. This actually has a really decent amount of coverage. It is light to medium coverage, it's nowhere near full coverage, but for a skin tint, a really decent amount of coverage, lasts a really long time, gives a gorgeous glow on the skin and feels very lightweight. Love this one. The Rimmel Kind and Free Moisturizing Skin Tint Foundation. This again has a really decent amount of coverage. It's not greasy, it feels very lightweight. It's got antioxidant complex in there. This looks really great on the skin. I think I haven't been using it as much as the other two I just mentioned, just because it's a little bit too dark for me. This is the very lighter shade 10 Rose Ivory, but it is still really lovely on the skin. And if you are not as fair as me, you would enjoy this, I'm sure. And then on the high end, end. I have two recommendations. First, the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. This is lovely. Again, like with all of these, not greasy, feels lightweight, lasts a really long time and adds a gorgeous glow to the skin. And one that's still relatively new to me, but has made a really good impression is the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum that I tried in my last video. This is really fantastic, very, very glowy, probably the glowiest one out of all five out of all five here but it is really gorgeous very very lightweight this is also probably the one with the least amount of coverage because it is more of that true tinted serum so it's majority skincare but it does even everything out it does hide your redness and i have really been enjoying this one number four is a long wearing blush and in the summer i really like bright colors things like pinks and reds and i much prefer a cream formula over a powder formula because it kind of adds to that glowy summery look. First up, I would definitely recommend these She Glam stick blushes. I will leave the exact name below, but these are gorgeous. They come in a really lovely range of colors. This one here is Wild Love. And you can see that they're a nice bright color 
gorgeous formula and they last a really really long time on the skin and they're really really inexpensive i also have dreamer just more of a darker mauve color and i also have next dimension which is more of a peach the NYX Sweet Cheek Soft Cheek Lip, no. The Sweet Cheek Soft Cheek Tint, no. The NYX Sweet Cheek Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousses, very long name, but these are fantastic. I have three shades. I have Almost Famous, Nude Tude, and Baby Doll, and they're all fantastic. They are very, very easy to apply. They last a really, really long time, and they just have a huge amount of pigment, and they are, again, incredibly inexpensive. So this is Almost Famous famous gorgeous orange red this is baby doll and this one i picked up recently because i really love this formula and i wanted something brighter for the summertime and this is nude tude which is probably the one i get the most use out of but they are all gorgeous Okay, so I have two other recommendations. First up are the e.l.f. Putty Blushes. You've probably seen these absolutely everywhere and there is a reason for that because these are gorgeous on the skin. You can build them up to whatever intensity you want. They have a gorgeous shade selection and they last a really long time, which is the key <laughs> bit of this category. So I have five shades. I have Fiji, which is a lovely bright red. I have Bahamas, which is more of a muted orange type shade. Tahiti, which is a rose pink. I have Bora Bora. This is a bright, bright pink. And again, this is a newer one that I picked up because I've really been enjoying bright pinks recently. And Turks and Caicos, which is, again, a lovely pinky, orangey shade. And these are all gorgeous. And as I said, they apply so nicely on the skin and they are so inexpensive. And then finally, again, these are fairly new to my collection, the Rose Ink Lip and Cheek Colours. These I have been wearing almost every single day since I got them and wore them in my last video. I have the shades Anemone, Ophelia, Heliotrope, which is just a gorgeous everyday shade. And because I'm a bit boring and also I haven't really been going anywhere, this is the one I've been wearing most. And Foxglove, which is the perfect colour if you want that sort of sun-kissed, almost sunburnt cheek look. This is perfect to achieve that. I am wearing Ophelia, which is the bright pink on my cheeks today, and it looks great. And it's not too pigmented. I managed to blend everything out, so it just looks quite natural. But again, you could build this up to be quite an intense, bright pink for the summer if you wanted to do that. Number five is a lightweight but long wearing powder because obviously in the summer, it's hot, it's sweaty, and you don't want your makeup falling off of your face. But the thing that I want in a powder is something that's not going to overly mattify my face. So all of that lovely glow that I put on with my skin tints or my SPF or, you know, my blushes, it's not gonna go away if I put powder over the top. And my two favorite powders at the moment are the Elizabeth Arden High Performance Blurring Loose Powder. This is my all time favorite powder. I love this because it does what it says. It blurs the skin, but it doesn't overly mattify and it does make your makeup last a really, really long time. Love this and what I'm wearing today and something that I have recently rediscovered, the number seven perfect light loose powder. Again, really lightweight, blurs everything, sets everything down, makes your makeup last a really long time, but doesn't overly mattify, doesn't look cakey. This is a fantastic powder. Okay, number six is a glowy bronzer. I mean, you can't have a summer look without a lovely glowy bronze. And two that I have been loving for a little while now actually is the Flower Beauty Heatwave Luminous Bronzer. This is in the shade Sunswept. Gorgeous, very smooth, lovely color, little bit of luminosity, not too much, but definitely there. And the one that I'm wearing today is the Kosas Soft Bronze in the shade Light. Again, this is a very similar sort of thing. Baked formula, gorgeous, smooth, with a little bit of luminosity, but not so much that it's incredibly obvious on the face, but both of those I absolutely love. Number seven is a shimmery eyeshadow. And the two formulas I'm gonna show you are both kind of cream liquid formulas because I feel like they last a really long time. First up are the e.l.f. Liquid Metallic and Glitter Eyeshadows. These are stunning. They go on really smoothly. They blend out really, really well. They have a gorgeous color selection. I mean, I have six here, but they have so many more on the website and in stores. And these last 
all day and they are incredibly reflective. I'll show you a couple of shades to swatch now. This is Little Dipper. This is like a really lovely pink. You can see just how gorgeous and reflective that is. This one is Dirty Martini, which I hadn't worn before the other day and I put it on and it is a gorgeous dark gold. Perfect for a night out. Love that one. Uh, let's swatch one of the glitters. So this is the gold one. This is 24 karat gold. As you can see, super reflective. And I think these are only three pounds or something. So definitely worth picking up. Definitely worth giving a go. They just look stunning on the eyes. Okay, I may have glitter on the back of my hand now for the rest of the video. So just ignore that. What I have on my eyes is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Bed of Roses. This again is just a really gorgeous shimmery cream eyeshadow that goes on super smoothly blends out super smoothly but when it sets down it doesn't budge and it is incredibly beautiful on the eyes these two shades striker rose and bed of roses are part of a limited edition collection but they're the same formula as the laura mercier standard caviar stick range and you can get lots of gorgeous shimmery shades in their normal range and i would thoroughly recommend them if you want to splurge on something really beautiful for the eyes that you know is going to last all day these are definitely a good shout number eight is a long wearing bright lipstick i love the summer because it is one of those times that you can i mean you can wear bright lipstick anytime but it definitely gives you an excuse when the sun is out to be a little bit bolder with your makeup a little bit brighter so a few suggestions that i have first are the revlon colorstay satin inks these are kind of like a liquid lipstick and almost like a lip stain all in one and they last ages this is silky sienna which is more of a darker red shade and this one is movi darling which is more of a bright pink almost exactly the same shade as that baby doll blush from nyx and these feel incredibly comfortable on the lips they're very lightweight not like a traditional liquid lipstick the elf glossy lip stains again really good really long wearing i would recommend the power mauve which looks like this and spicy sienna which is more of a bright red and actually would go really well with that foxglove shade from Rose Inc. These are gorgeous and definitely leave behind a good stain. The L'Oreal liquid lipsticks, I will leave the exact name below. They're the Rouge Brilliant and Rouge Signature lips, but the ones in the shiny tubes are a glossy finish and the ones in the matte tubes are a matte finish, but both of them are amazing. They go on so comfortably. They feel like absolutely nothing. They last such a long time and the colors are beautiful. They have so many colors in this range. I would recommend them so, so much. I think these are brilliant and I have been a fan of these for a very, very long time. So I have in the matte formula the shades I don't, which is this gorgeous, bright, classic red. And these aren't incredibly matte. As I said, they're very comfortable. So when they're on the lips, they don't look like crusty and textured. They just look incredibly natural. Uh, this is the shade I achieve, which is more of a bright orange and this is the shade i empower and i know this one's a bit more of a boring one uh, a bit more of a new tone but i wanted to include it because i really love wearing this because it's almost like a muted peach and it is such a lovely everyday shade so even though it's not a bold color i'm going to include it anyway and then in the glossy formula i have the shades be impertinent which is more of an orangey red be brilliant which is more of that classic red again but in the glossy formula and I have the feminist which is a brighter mauvey pink all stunning I have other shades in these but these are kind of the brighter ones that I have in my collection and I just love them I've loved them for ages and I would thoroughly recommend and again you can see leave a lovely stain behind so even once the color wears off a little bit you're still gonna have something on your lips, which is great. And then finally, for the lip category, I have the Milani Nude Lipsticks. I can't remember what they're called. I will leave them linked down below, but this is from their new collection, the Flora Collection, and all three of these are stunning. They have six shades, so these are obviously the three lightest ones, and then they do go progressively darker. 
these are fantastic this matte formula is so comfortable and for a traditional lipstick these last such a long time i'm wearing the shade peony on my lips right now but i'll swatch all three shades that i have so let's do it here so this is peony this is petal and this is blossom which is a very bright hot pink and all three of those absolutely stunning their nude matte collection as well stunning so i really recommend the milani matte formula okay so number nine is a long wearing setting spray and my two favorites are both from the drugstore so i have the milani make it last natural finish setting spray this locks your makeup in all day and what i love about it also is it doesn't add a glow and it doesn't mattify it just locks makeup in without changing the finish and i love that and this is one of my favorite setting sprays of all time and one that i picked up fairly recently but you can see i've got through quite a lot is the elf stay all day micro fine setting mist again this locks everything in it's super lightweight on the skin and it doesn't change the finish of your makeup it is brilliant and then finally number 10 is a sweat proof long lasting mascara and i only have one suggestion here it is the rimmel kind and free clean volumizing and conditioning mascara this i have in the shade black i think they also have a brown but this is fantastic it doesn't flake it doesn't smudge it lasts all day and it doesn't clump it's just a really lovely everyday mascara it's not going to be a very dramatic mascara but it is going to last you all day and it is fantastic just to wear as part of your daily look it has incredible staying power so i would recommend okay so that is everything and now that i am covered in glitter and lipstick i think it's probably best to sign off so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then i would really appreciate a thumbs up if you liked me and you want to see more videos from me then please do hit the subscribe button down below i'd love to hear what your favorite summer makeup products are down below in the comments i hope you're having a fantastic day and i will see you in the next one bye